Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia. I'm Katia Aiko, and in the last episode we came to the... Lakutum High Road. Yeah. And we're heading to Jiandu. I'm so bad with these names. And in this episode we're gonna make it to Lanshu? It might be there, or I might have to go through that cave. I have no idea, but we're gonna listen to this. So let's listen to this. That Ivor guy is something else, huh? Apparently, he's Mila's handmaid. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised at her unusual taste in friends. They don't get much weirder than that! <laughs> You're one to talk, Tipo. He scared me. He was so mad at Jude. Well, he does attract the weird ones. <laughs> You're one to talk, Leah! Hey, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the problem with wyverns. Sounds like Ivor found some useful information. I hadn't heard about these wyverns before. Wyverns are a special breed of flying monster native to a remote region of Ajul. They're quite intelligent, but very rare. And only those who have mastered a special art can train them. Is it really safe to ride one? That depends. I've heard that if a naughty child tries to ride, the wyvern will gobble her right up. Is that true? Don't worry, Ellie's a good kid. Yeah, she'll be fine. But what about you? Hmm. It would be a shame to see Tipo get eaten. That can't be good for a wyvern's stomach. Huh? No! You can't let it eat me! It's okay! You're a good kid, too! <laughs> well, he's a gullible one. I can tell you that much. God, Alvin is such a troll with the four children. Anyways, I wanted to make a quick note real quick. That's why it's a quick note. <laughs> If the game quality um, and my audio look and sound better, there is a very good reason for that. Uh, though you probably know if you've tried to record from a PS3 before that you can't record using the HDMI cable and the HDMI port and all that shit because Sony put some sort of encryption on it. I want to call it HDCP, but I could be wrong. Anyways, I had to use component I think it is the 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 two the two audio cables and the three video cables it's it's two audio plugs and three video I think is what it is I think that's how it is and um, it was okay quality but recently I went and bought a cool little thing that lets me bypass the signal encryption on the HDMI. So now I'm actually recording using the HDMI cables and I think it looks a lot better. I did a bunch of tests with it and I think it looks a lot better than it did. And uh, also, well, it's probably a scene here, so I'll give you just a second. So this is Xiandu. Seems like a tough place to build a city. Clans have warred against each other in Ajul since ancient times. Such constant conflict has led people to build cities where they can, even in places such as this. The city seems especially lively. Are they having some kind of festival? Hey, check out this cool statue! These statues represent a fusion of international spirit faith and the local tradition of ancestor worship. Or so I've read. Huh. Yep, keep your noggin pointed in that general direction. Hmm? Don't look at me. Look up! This town is infamous for falling rocks. What? Don't scare me like that! You speak as though you know the area. Been here before. Business trip. What's wrong? Hey, this place is familiar, ain't it, Ellie? Yes, it is. Um, I think we were taken here on our way to Hamil. Did you once live in this area? I don't know. What? Huh? Where are you headed off to? Duty calls. I'll see you all in a bit. Hm. <laughs> You're not much of a team player. You okay with this? Leave him be. I know he'll be back. Let's look for those wyverns. 
And then on another note, um, Hapaz, Hapag, they have a different. I think that one's missing a head. They made uh, shit. It's going to fall. Miss Leia. Look out! Elise, are you hurt? I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. Miss Leia, please wake up. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll have you fixed right up. Rowan, you're hurt. I'm so sorry. Never fear. It is merely a flesh wound. You just worry about yourself. I'm a doctor. Let me help. There you go. Easy does it. Thanks so much, Miss, uh... The name's Isla. You're gonna be fine. Take it easy, Leah. You should sit down for a while. Hmm? That's... Thanks so much, Isla. That was really kind of you. Yeah, that was very nice of you to help. Not at all. That's my job. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? We're searching for wyverns. We heard we might be able to find some here. Wyverns, huh? In that case, you should head across the river. You'll find some big ones in cages over there. Go and see for yourself. That's great news! Thank you for everything, Isla. <laughs> I'm just glad I could help. Well, I've got to run. Take care of yourselves. Bye now. Goodbye, and thanks again! Okay. Papa's made a program that they uh, themselves rather than using something I was that came with uh, my HTTPR called Arcsoft Showbiz. And with that program that Hapaj made, I can actually record the game and my own audio at the same time, but it also records my audio onto a separate audio track, so when I throw it to Sony Vegas, I can edit my audio and the game audio and video separately. So it's cool, and I like it much better than what I was using before. Now then. I finally got all that explained. Let's listen to this close call or, you know, listen, watch, whatever. So there are just rock slides from time to time? This is a really dangerous city. And yet the cliff looks stable in the area around the statues. We have to be careful here. I'll keep looking up while I walk. Ah! Careful now. You still have to look where you're going. An abundance of caution can be as dangerous as a shortfall. Right. Got it. A bum dance often can be as dangerous as a shortfall. Were you even listening? Good job, Tipo. Those... Shandu statues. I wonder how many statues are in Shandu. Let's make a pop quiz out of it. Hmm, won't be much of a quiz if no one knows the right answer. Oh, then why don't I quiz you about the statues themselves? Like, Jude, name this famous figure. No good? Sure, why not? Let's go check them out. Okay, can I check them out? Now? Darn. Hello, sir. I can't believe that rock fall we just had. They usually do such a good job of preventing that sort of thing. Yeah, well... Good thing everybody here is a fighter and we all know how to dodge shit. Except for Layla and Elise, apparently. Look at this thing. Did you guys tame this? I can't talk to you guys, but it's cool. Alright then. Let's move on to... wherever. Hello. I like your hair. It's a nice white. Doggy! It's a doggy. There aren't many people I could talk to. There's one. If you use this elevator, you'll find it... F you'll find a full complement of merchants waiting above. Interesting. What is that? An axe beak? Or is it a cockatrice? Cockatrice? The elevators that run along the cliff are powered by a combination of hydraulic power and spirit arts. That's cool. Can I take the elevator? I totally can. If there are merchants up there, I guess that's where I get all my equipment. Ah, there's a lot of monsters in these towns. If I want to go to the Coliseum, you'll have to take the ferry boat at the end of this road. Ooh, Coliseum. The Coliseum is a holy place. You can't just walk there. 
Can I fly there? Push! Anyways. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be going exactly. What's this way? The subterranean passage. Okay. What's over here? So many of the statues have beards! <laughs> the allure of a well-kempt beard transcends all cultural bounds. Okay. Hello, child. The Colosseum is that super cool looking building between the cliffs. It's a sacred place full of, like, tradition and honor and stuff. 118, is it, is, oh, is it that? Oh, that's cool. It looks like a costume to me. Oh, that's right. I have to write to my folks. Tell them I'm going on a trip. Leia, did you run away without telling anyone? You're a juvenile delinquent! Oh, relax, relax. Don't people always say if you have a cute daughter, show her the world? I have never heard that expression before. Your parents must be so worried. Well, you might be right. But I really wanted to go with you guys. Hmm. Perhaps if I wrote a few words to your parents, it would help to put their minds at ease. Thanks. Dad's probably crying his eyes out by now. What about your mom? My... mom? She's gotta be furious. She'd beat the living crap out of me if I came home now. <laughs> Sounds like a good mother. Hello. Look at those giant ribbons! Mm. Such beautiful cloth designs. This is quite a fascinating culture. Okay. Aren't the cloth pennants hung over the city's beautiful? They're called prayer pennants, and each one bears a wish from the person who hung it. People believe that the larger and more beautiful the pennant, the more likely your wish will be granted. Oh, that's nice. Kinda like Tanabata. Except not. What's that? You say you want to see the wyverns? Then cross this bridge to the east bank. There will be a staircase to your left, which leads to an elevator that will take you to them. But don't do anything to get the wyverns excited, okay? But I wanted to throw rocks at them. Hey, guess what? I can speak horse. Like, this horse is saying, I want a carrot. Perfect. Staircase to the left, he said? Up here? Up here? Oh, there's an elevator, like you said, so I hope I went the right way. Oh, what are you? You don't look like a wyvern. Maybe you are. There are different interpretations of wyverns, after all. Who's a good wyvern? Who's a good wyvern? <laughs> You there! What do you think you're doing? Those wyverns belong to our clan. We've come to take them. I'm pondering how to break the cages. W whoa! Mila! Uh, may we please borrow your wyverns? You can't be serious. Ignore these outsiders! We're running out of time to find a champion! What? It's submitted to her without the use of beastcraft. These people might be our answer. Wait, hold on! You can't possibly be thinking of recruiting these fools! I'm Jurgen of the Katarl clan. You outsiders have arrived in Shandu at a crucial time for us. I'm sure you've noticed the crowds in the city. Once every decade, Shandu's clans hold a martial arts tournament. That tournament is tomorrow. Our chief is the clan's only fighter, but unfortunately, he is leagues away in the king's service. We're on the verge of having to forfeit the tournament. This is a desperate time for our proud and ancient clan. And yet, I sense a special power within you. Would you be willing to represent the Katarl clan as our champions? Heck yeah! Where do I sign up? Leia, he's asking all of us. Ah. <laughs> if we enter the tournament on your behalf, will you let us borrow these wyverns? That's the bargain. But you must do more than just enter. 
you must win. I'll need to see a demonstration of your abilities beforehand as well. We can do it, right, Mila? Yes, we need those wyverns. Awesome! I always wanted to be in a real martial arts tournament. I'm stoked! You're sure it's okay for outsiders like us to participate in the clan's tournament? That's not a problem. Some clans have been known to recruit skilled warriors from the outside to boost their prestige. Huh. I figured you folks were bigger sticklers for tradition. I'm gone five minutes and you get us neck deep in contact sports? I can't take you people anywhere. Where have you been, little buddy? We were nearly squished! Sorry about that, Spud. I had a feeling you were all in trouble, though, so I came running. No harm, no foul, right? He a friend of yours? That's right. We're a package deal. Good. Then you can show me your combat skills. Come to the aerial arena. Got it. First it's falling rocks, now it's howling wyverns! I hate Yondu! <sighs> He's so mean. I'm pretty sure there's a animated cutscene coming up soon, because I think I remember seeing one at a coliseum in a review I watched of this game, so that should be cool. But anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go to the Coliseum, I guess. I'm not sure how to get there. I think they had said I had to take a boat. What boat? I'll figure it out. Anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.